Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma Homage to the blessed, noble, and perfectly enlightened one. Namo sadanto suchedo ye olahudi sammyao sanvatoshi. Wu Shang Shen Shen Wei Miao Fa Bai Qian Wan Jie Nan Sao Yu Wu Jin Jian Wan De Shou Chi Yuan Jie Ru Lai Zhen Shi Yi Supreme and Wondrous Dharma, subtle and profound, rarely is encountered even in billions of eons. But now we see and hear it and accept it reverently. Recording in progress. Understand the Buddha's actual meaning. Venerable Master, Dharma friends, good afternoon and welcome. Welcome to the Flower Garland Sutra Lecture today. We're looking in again at the 10 stages chapter, but we're doing something different today, something unique, something we never tried before. Glad you're with us. You can be part of it. You can encourage, you can participate, you can critique. And uh, if it works out well, we'll be doing more of it. Today is Sunday, August 29th here in the Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia. And it's Saturday, August 28th in Berkeley, California, other places in the Northern Hemisphere. What are we gonna do that's different? Uh, I'll tell you in just a bit. And uh, I will say that as, uh, as we're reading the Sutra, at the same time, we're staying mindful of the folks directly in the path of Hurricane Ida, uh, which if we listen to uh, uh, Honorable John Bell, the governor of, of Louisiana, he says it's going to be the historic uh, hurricane is making landfall right on top of New Orleans. And ironically, not ironically, tragically, 16 years precisely from Hurricane Katrina. So uh, that's happening. And our thoughts are also with the folks uh, truly, truly in suffering, they say suffering within suffering, the people who, because of fear for their lives, are trying to flee Afghanistan and the only door open to them to leave is the airport and the airport becomes a scene of carnage and mayhem. Uh, what a horrible uh, reality to have to be crushed between uh, terror and fire like that. So we're thinking of those folks and uh, truly with a global village that isn't far away, that's next door. We are them, they are us. So humans have this ability to be cruel to each other. And uh, I will say it's unnecessary, but we'll, we'll get, to that, uh, get to that as we go. Likewise, we are, our thoughts are with folks who have been struck down by COVID-19 and its various uh, iterations and their only crime, their only fault, their only mistake was what? Breathing. <laughs> but they breathed in air that contained the virus. 
So uh, we humans have contributed, whether or not it's our fault, uh, history will let us know, but uh, we've contributed to a planet that makes the air polluted, polluted with the conditions of a virus. Um, pretty astonishing to think that breathing can be fatal in the world that we, uh, we live in now. So what do we do? We don't, what we, what, we do, what we do as Buddhists is, one thing Buddhists can do is to uh, look at the part of our existence that doesn't come and doesn't go. The part that is inherent, not only in people, but in all living things. And that would be the eternal Buddha nature, that awakened place inside of us that is not part of these bodies that get into so much trouble because our bodies are very perilous, very fragile. Uh, that's a part of our lives that is uh, unmoving, I say. It's not defiled. It's not pure. It uh, doesn't come and it doesn't go. It doesn't increase, doesn't decrease. Uh, it doesn't, it's not produced. It's not destroyed, they say. That's the, that place called Prajna Paramita. So anyway, with those in mind, people who around the planet, for, they're in the path of a hurricane. They're in the path of war. They're in the path of disease. Uh, various kinds of suffering here on the planet. So as we look into today, we're going to read aloud the Flower Garland Sutra. As we do that, we keep all that folks in mind because here in this magnificent Buddha hall and Gold Coast Dharma realm, there isn't suffering uh, from those external causes. Uh, whether or not there's affliction, well, that depends on my next thought and how, how skillfully um, I'm able to, to let it go as it rises. Uh, but externally here, uh, it's a beautiful spring morning, spring afternoon here in the Gold Coast. So from with that as the kind of the energy that we're, we're explaining from, we're lecturing from, that is to say connected to all beings in the planet uh, and ideally uh, contemplating those sounds, kwan, taman deshani, kwan, yin, hearing those sounds, uh, understanding that those sounds can stop. They rise, they have a cause, they can cease, and that cessation has a cause as well. So we'll keep that in mind as we do our lecture. And here is today's text. Boy, notice something? We're on page one. Look at that, page one, That's page two. Here's page one, look at that. What are we doing? And why are we back on the first stage? I'll let you know in just a sec. First, we're going to invoke spiritual presence here. We uh, invite the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas to draw near. We do it with a melody.
what are we doing? Um, something different. Here's the, here's the plan. We are going to read the Avatamsaka Sutra's first stage chapter. Um, why we're going to do that? It's it because we finished the uh, gee whiz. Uh, Apple doesn't give me anything to grab in my control bar here. Here we go. Um, we finished explaining Jiang Jing. We're done with the ten stages chapters lecture, right? Which is slow. It's a slow process. You go ah. Sorry about this. Here we go. Come on. Ah. Zoom puts my control bar on top, and I don't have any room to drag my window. So um, we explained the sutra line by line by line, very slowly, and uh, didn't get very. We, it took us years to finish the ten stages chapter, the Dashabhumi. We finished properly, truly, two weeks ago, um, and the question was, what do we do next? What's what's our next topic? And we had many choices. And it occurred to me because in Berkeley, we have, um, we kind of pioneered the, the method of unison reciting, reciting in unison, everybody reading together um, the sutra text in, in English. Uh, and it was quite an experience because we learned that there are rules for doing it better or not doing it that way and making it worse. There, there are rules that enhance the experience of reciting together. And we realize that in any given day or week or month, year, you don't get a chance to recite with other people. And it's uh, a remarkable, uniting, harmonizing experience, especially when what you're reciting is a wisdom text, the Buddha's words. So with that kind of as the, the springboard, um, as we finished explaining the 10th stage, uh, it occurred to me that maybe there is, and I wrote some ideas here, there's another approach to the experience of the sutra, which is use a different set of senses, not only the left brain, the analytical mind, but use the ears to experience the Avatamsaka Sutra and you could say the right brain, the brain that is not necessarily looking to analyze, uh, to discriminate, but the brain that wants to integrate, to harmonize. So what we're going to do, and this is an experiment, as far as I know, it's never been done before. We're going to bring the Buddha's voice forward. That's the plan, say it that way. Here we go. Uh, we're going to listen to the Buddha as he told the story of the first stage. We are going to honor the story, the narrative of the text, how? Listening to it. I'm going to read it to you. And as we get to appropriate places, I'm going to stop and just point. And maybe say, oh, here we are in the story. I'm not going to draw other analogies. I'm not going to relate it to something else. I'm not going to critique it from the point of view of language or translation. That's, that would be to, to go into the, the lecture part. Uh, what we want to do is honor the narrative. What comes alive as we do this are, is the flow of the action. And there is action in the sutra. We hear the point of the conversations. And a, an important part of this first stage is a dialogue. We're going to ideally, hopefully, understand the principles as the Buddha establishes them. Okay? But we'll see them in sequence as they arise through the flow, through the process of that first stage. I hope that this will provide a better chance to get the point, to hear the Dharma, to absorb its wisdom through the ears as we hear it, hear it read aloud. Now, 
I was not alone in loving to be read to. I think many of us love that experience when we were young. to you have your mom or your dad or a relative or a teacher or the library lady read to you. Uh, one of the best things that the Berkeley Public Library has going, uh, we're, we're only three blocks from the downtown library at our Berkeley Monastery. One of the best things going is library ladies reading to kids. You go up, the, the Berkeley Library, the public library has an entire floor for children. And oh man, what a wonderful collection of books they have there. And they have uh, cleverly, wisely, created opportunities for kids to dive into those books uh, by gathering around the library lady, uh, sitting on the floor, lying on the floor uh, with your, you know, holding your mom's hand, listening to her read a story. Uh, it's just super. And, uh, you know, they, it has created some very good story readers. One thing we can do as we listen is allow the silence to frame and support the words. Further, as I read, I'm going to allow my breathing to be a rhythm that you get used to. Uh, it's a human experience. What I would like to have happen is the pictures of the sutra text to happen in your mind as you listen. Might you want to close your eyes as you listen to the, to the flow? Um, probably not. Why? You could go to sleep and I don't want that to happen. Um, and I'll try to keep it lively so that, uh, so that you don't go to sleep. But if you were to close your eyes, that is to say, reduce the visual sense to enhance your audio sense, to boost your ears, close your eyes, your ears pick up. And uh, the, eye, the ears will feed the mind where the action really is. Okay, got the plan. That's what we have in mind. And I will uh, periodically stop and point to something in the text to make sure that uh, you see what I want you to see. And then we will also, uh, at certain points in the flow, take a, take a word break and do things like this, like... do that periodically to uh, give some room to digest. Okay, that's, I think I've set the stage here. And I wanted to say as, as it's possible that I'm not in touch with, with uh, what's really going on in terms of the Avatamsaka Sutra in English, but this may be the f among, certainly it is among the very first time that we have read the Avatamsaka Sutra, the Flower Garland Sutra for comprehension. This is Sutra as literature and Sutra as oral tradition Dharma. In a way, in a way, look at this, in a way we are recreating the Buddha's, uh, the original situation when the Buddha in his uh, transformed, adorned body as Lushana Buddha, Rochana Buddha, spoke the sutra for bodhisattvas and devas. We may, we may be uh, 
imitating, you know, admiring and tr trying to recreate a similar kind of experience, right? I notice how I'm avoiding saying, yeah, we're doing that too. Right? I'm not Lushanafo, I'm not the Buddha. But uh, the sutra that he explained, that he read, that he gave, bequeathed to the bodhisattvas and the devas and his audience is the same sutra. Uh, now in English. Alrighty. The print is a little small. My original intention was to have it, let's, let's see how it works. I was thinking because Chinese readers are not going to be able to hear, uh, my, not be able to understand my English, my plan was to run them side by side like this. But what's wrong with that? Tai <laughs> Xiao Really small, really small. But the way the text is on the page, uh, this is the only way to get them both up. If, uh, if I had two screens, I would have a Chinese um, scrolling as I read the English. So we'll, well, I'll let my technical tech team volunteers figure that one out. How to, how to make it possible so that what we would want would be the English, the Chinese to be like something like this. You know, that's too big here, that big. I'm on a laptop, so I have limited real estate here. But if ideally, if as I was reading the English, you could go like this and you could read the Chinese, that would be go go. Is this big enough? It's just still too small. Yeah, it's too small. Okay, so we we need to uh, we need to work on that. But uh, you know what? Uh, come think of it. I have a method. We're going to open this one in Chinese. And that's. Yeah, I can't fight the page. So we're gonna move that right there. Is that a possibility? Nah, it's the, cause it's a PDF, it doesn't scroll. Okay, we'll work on it, work on it, yeah. Meanwhile, uh, here's the English and we'll get the English big enough so that people can read, okay. Ready, here we go. Homage to the fundamental teacher, Shakyamuni Buddha. Homage to fundamental teacher, Shakyamuni Buddha. Homage to fundamental teacher, Shakyamuni Buddha. The Avatamsaka Sutra's 26th chapter, the 10 stages. At that time, the Tathagata was in the royal palace in the heaven of the comfort from others' transformations in the hall of treasuries of Mani Jewels, together with a gathering of great bodhisattvas. Our Shi Shi Zun Zai Ta Hua Zi Zai Tian Wang Gong, Moni Bao Zhang Die, Yu Da Pu Sa Zhong Xu. All these bodhisattvas who were irreversible for from Anuttara, Samyak, and Bodhi had assembled from worlds in other directions. They stayed in the states of wisdom in which all bodhisattvas abide, had entered that place of wisdom which all Tathagatas enter and diligently practiced without rest. They were able to manifest all kinds of psychic powers and all that they did was done to teach, transform and bring living beings into harmony at the right time. Shi Tsong Ta Fang Shi Jie Lai Ji Yi, Zhu Yi Che Pu Sa Zhi So Zhu Jing, Ru Yi Che Ru Lai Zhi So Ru Chu, Qin Xing Bu Xi, Shan Neng Shi Xian Zhong Zhong Shan Tong, 
，诸所作事，教化调伏一切众生，法而不失时。In order to accomplish the Bodhisattva's great vows in all worlds, in all kalpas, and in all lands, they diligently cultivated their practices without slacking even momentarily. They were replete with the Bodhisattva's blessings, wisdom, and aids to the way that aided living beings, and they never ran short. They had arrived at the ultimate shore of a Bodhisattva's wisdom and expedient skills. 为成菩萨，一切大愿，于一切事，一切劫，一切刹，勤修诸行，无暂歇息，具足菩萨辅持助道，普益众生而恒不亏，到一切菩萨智慧方便，究竟彼岸。They revealed their mastery of birth and death as being identical with nirvana, yet they did not renounce the cultivation of a bodhisattva's practices. They were skilled at entering bodhisattva's dhyanas, liberations, samadhis, samapatis, psychic powers, and clear knowledges. In all they did, they realized self-mastery. They acquired a bodhisattva's mastery of spiritual powers, and in an instant. Without movement or exertion, they could go to the assemblies of all Tathagatas, Bodhimandas, act as leaders of their assemblies, and request to teach Dharma. They protected and upheld the Buddha's wheel of the right Dharma. They used an expansive mind to make offerings to and serve the Buddhas. Shiru 无所动作，悉能忘以一切如来道场众会，为众上首，勤佛说法，护持诸佛正法之轮，以广大心供养成事，一切诸佛。They always diligently practice the deeds that bodhisattvas practice. Their bodies appeared everywhere in all worlds. Their voices reached throughout the Dharma realms of the ten directions. Their wisdom was unobstructed in viewing the three periods of time. Their cultivation of the merit and virtue of bodhisattvas was perfect. And if one were to describe them through ineffably many kalpas, the description would never end. Chang Qin Xiu Xi Yi Che Pu Sa So Xing Shi Ye, Qi Shen Pu Xian Yi Che Shi Jian, Qi Yin Pu Qi Shi Fang Fa Jie, Xin Zhi Wu Ai Pu Jian San Shi, Yi Che Pu Sa So You Gong De, Xi Yi Xiu Xing Er De Yan Ma, Yu Bu Ke Shuo Jie Shuo Bu Neng Jin. All right. What's coming next is a list of bodhisattvas' names. I'm going to go right through them. So fasten your seatbelt. Listen to the names of bodhisattvas. Their names were Bodhisattva Vajra Treasury, Bodhisattva Jewel Treasury, Bodhisattva Lotus Treasury, Bodhisattva Virtue Treasury, Bodhisattva Treasury of Lotus Virtues, Bodhisattva Sun Treasury. Bodhisattva Treasury of Surya, 
Bodhisattva treasury of undefiled moons. Bodhisattva treasury of adornments universally manifesting in all countries. Bodhisattva treasury of Vairochana wisdom. Bodhisattva treasury of wonderful virtues. Bodhisattva treasury of Chandana virtues. Bodhisattva treasury of flower virtues. Bodhisattva treasury of Kusuma virtues. Bodhisattva treasury of Utpala virtues. Bodhisattva treasury of heavenly virtues. Bodhisattva treasury of blessings and virtues. Bodhisattva treasury of unobstructed pure wisdoms virtues. Bodhisattva treasury of merit and virtues. Bodhisattva treasury of Narayana virtues. Bodhisattva treasury of non-defilement. Bodhisattva treasury of freedom from filth. Bodhisattva treasury of versatile eloquence adornments. Bodhisattva treasury of great bright light nets. Bodhisattva treasury of pure awesome virtues light king. Bodhisattva treasury of gold adornments and the light of great merit and virtues king. Bodhisattva treasury of adornments of all marks pure virtues. Bodhisattva treasury of Vajra blazing virtues and adorning hallmarks. Bodhisattva treasury of blazing light. Bodhisattva treasury of light illuminating constellation king. Bodhisattva treasury of empty space and unobstructed wisdom. Bodhisattva treasury of unobstructed wondrous sounds. Bodhisattva treasury of dharani merit and virtues to maintain the vows of living beings. Bodhisattva treasury of sea adornments. Bodhisattva treasury of Sumeru virtues. Bodhisattva treasury of purity of merited virtues. Bodhisattva Tathagata's treasury. Bodhisattva treasury of the Buddha's virtues. Bodhisattva moon of liberation and all the other numberless, limitless, boundless, incomparable, uncountable, indescribable, inconceivable, illimitable and ineffable multitudes of bodhisattvas, mahasattvas, with bodhisattva Vajra treasury as their leader. Chimingangsangfusa Pilujanajangfusa Gongda 一切相庄严净德藏菩萨 
陀罗尼功德，持一切众生愿上菩萨，海庄严上菩萨，须弥德藏菩萨，尽一切功德藏菩萨，如来藏菩萨，佛德藏菩萨，解脱业菩萨，如是等无数。无量、无边、无等，不可数、不可成、不可思、不可量、不可说。诸菩萨摩诃萨众，金刚藏菩萨，而未上手Bodhisattvas have all arrived. The scene is set. We know who's there. We've found out about their abilities, their qualities, their virtues, and the sound of their names echoing in empty space. It is time for the Dharma request. At that time, Bodhi, Bodhi, at that time, Bodhisattva Vajra Treasury received the Buddha's spiritual power and entered the samadhi of Bodhisattva's magnificent wisdom life. After he entered that samadhi, worlds beyond the number of fine particles of dust and ten million Buddha lands existed in each of the ten directions, and each of these worlds contained Buddhas. To the number of fine particles of dust in ten million Buddha lands, all bearing the same name, Vajra Treasury. All of those Buddhas appeared to him and said, "Good indeed, good indeed, Vajra Treasury, that you are able to enter the samadhi of Bodhisattva's magnificent wisdom light." Good man, this is due to the combined aid of the Buddhas. To the number of fine dust particles in ten million Buddha lands throughout the ten directions, it's also due to the power of the fundamental vows and the awesome spiritual strength of the Tathagata Virochana Arhat of right and equal awakening, and it's also due to the power of your supreme wisdom. These Buddhas want to bless you. That will allow you to teach the bodhisattvas about the radiance of inconceivable Buddha dharmas, namely, to bring about mastery of the stages of wisdom, the amassing of wholesome qualities, the skillful selection of the Buddha's teachings, vast knowledge of the Dharma, skillful ability to explain the Dharma, purification of undiscriminating wisdom, non-defilement by worldly dharmas, purification of world transcending wholesome qualities, obtaining the states. Of inconceivable wisdom, and obtaining the states of knowledge possessed by wise people. Arshi Jin Gang Zang Pusa Cheng Fu Shen Li Ru Pusa Da Zhi Hui Guang Ming San Mei. 入世三昧已，其是释放各国十亿佛刹微尘数世界外，各有十亿佛刹微尘数诸佛，同名金刚藏而现其前，所如是言：善哉，善哉，金刚藏，乃能入世菩萨大。智慧光明三昧
，善男子，此事十方各十亿佛刹微尘数诸佛，恭嘉于汝。以毗卢遮那如来应正等觉，本愿利故，微神利故，亦是如圣智利故，于令汝为一切菩萨说。不思议诸佛法光明故，所谓令入智地故，摄一切善根故，善减持一切佛法故，广知诸法故，善能说法故，无分别智清净故。一切事法不然，故出世善根清净故，得不思议智光界啊，得不思议尽智境界故，得一切智人智境界故。They also wish to allow you to master the Bodhisattva's ten stages from beginning to end. How to teach accurately the distinctive characteristics of the Bodhisattva's ten stages. How to follow and be mindful of the Buddha's Dharma. How to cultivate, study, and distinguish among non-outflowing dharmas. How to cleverly use the light of great wisdom in your skillful selection and contemplation. How to skillfully master the methods of decisive wisdom? How to accord with the bodes that appear in sequence and then explain them fearlessly? How to obtain the light of unobstructed eloquence? How to stay on the stage of great eloquence with skill and decisiveness? How to be mindful of the bodhisattvas and never forget them? How to bring beings in every realm to maturity? And how to travel everywhere and decisively wake up. Yo ling de pu sa shi di shi zhong bu. Ru shi shuo pu sa shi di cha bie xiang bu. Yuan nian yi qie fo fa bu. 修习分别无漏法故，善选择观察大智光明巧庄严故，善入决定智门故，随所住处次第显说，无所谓故，得无碍遍彩光明。住大边塞地，善决定故，意念菩萨心不忘失故，成熟一切众生界故，能变质一切处，决定开悟故。Good man, now is the time for you to present eloquently, with wholesome and clever words, the fine distinctions among methods of Dharma practice. By this we mean so that you can receive the Buddha's spiritual strength and the aid of the Tathagata's light of wisdom. You will be able to purify your own roots of goodness, to purify all Dharma realms everywhere, to gather in living beings everywhere, to deeply incorporate both the Dharma body and the wisdom body, to receive consecration on the crown of your head by those Buddhas, to get the tallest and largest body possible in any world, to surpass the methods of cultivation in any world, to purify world transcending roots of goodness, and to make perfect the wisdom of omniscience. Shan Nanzi, 汝当辩说，此法门吃别善巧法。所谓成佛神力
如来智明所加故，净自善根故，普净法界故，普摄众生故，深入法身智身故，受一切佛观顶故，得一切世间最高大身故，朝一切世间道。清净出世间善根啊，清净出世善根故，满足一切智智故。All right， 啊、uh,。If we were all sitting in the same room together, I would have us be still for a moment.、Um, we're witnessing something completely extraordinary. A crowd of bodhisattvas has arrived. They all have names that have to do with treasuries and virtues. Many of their names say something, something virtue treasury, because these are not beginners. These are advanced bodhisattvas who are enrolled in a training program that will give them every every aspect of the bodhisattva path and teach them how to go from the first stage. Of happiness to the tenth stage of the Dharma cloud, successfully, without error, without delay, without obstruction, and graduate at the other end. From the bodhisattvas that arrive comes one, actually two, but we we spend a lot of time with. Vajra Treasury, Treasury of Vajra. He has been selected, invited,、uh, deputized. He's been、uh, prepared, and then, as we just have been hearing, he gets given to. He receives gifts from the Buddha that. Place him in a different state, because why? He is going to speak for the Buddhas. Strictly speaking, the Buddha is not talking. So far, he is, but not in in a in a brief moment. We're going to watch Vajra Treasury Bodhisattva be transformed into the spokesperson. And the sutra spends time showing us what he gets, and telling us what that qualifies him to do. That's coming right now. At that time, the Buddhas of the ten directions bestowed a peerless body upon Bodhisattva Vajra Treasury. They gave him unobstructed eloquence of delight in speech. They gave him pure wisdom that makes skillful distinctions, the power of a good memory that forgets nothing, the skillful, decisive wisdom of understanding, the wisdom that reaches all places and brings one to awakening, the power of self-mastery in realizing the way, the Tathagata's fearlessness. Wisdom, eloquence possessed by those who are wise, in order to contemplate and to distinguish all methods of Dharma practice. And they gave him the Tathagata's perfect, superior, wonderful adornments of body, speech, and mind. Our Shi Shi Fang Zhu Fu Yu Jin Gang Zang Fu Sa Wu Neng Ying Duo Shen Yu Wu Ai Le Shuo Bian Yu 
善分别清净智，与善一念不妄立，与善决定明了慧，于智一切处开悟智，于成道自在立，于如来无所谓，于一切智人观察分别诸法门。辩才智，于一切如来上妙身与意，具足庄严。And why did they do so? They did so because when one gains this samadhi, the dharmas that flow forth are that way. They arise from past vows. This is so because his profound thoughts have been skillfully purified. Because his wheel of wisdom had been skillfully purified, because his aids to the way had been skillfully accumulated, because all he did was skillfully cultivated, because his mindfulness made him a limitless dharma vessel, because his knowledge brought him pure faith and understanding, because his mantra recitation was free from errors. And because he had skillfully applied the seal of wisdom of the Dharma realm. 何以故？得此三昧法如是故。本愿所起故。善经身心故。善经智轮故。善机及助道故。善修智所作故，念其无量法器故，知其清净信解故，得无错扭总持故，法界智印善印。At that time, all the Buddhas of the ten directions extended their right hands and rubbed Bodhisattva Vajra Treasury on the crown of his head. After his head was rubbed, the Bodhisattva Vajra Treasury arose from his samadhi and said to the assembly of Bodhisattvas, "Disciples of the Buddha, the vows the Bodhisattvas make are skillful and decisive. They are pristine and imperceptible." They are vast and great, like the Dharma realm, and ultimately like space itself. They reach to the boundaries of future time. Their vows pervade throughout Buddha lands in order to rescue and protect living beings. These vows are protected by the Buddhas, and they enter the stages of wisdom of the Buddhas of the past, the future, and the present. 尔时，十方诸佛各伸右手，摩金刚藏菩萨顶。摩顶以金刚藏菩萨从三昧起，普告一切菩萨众言：诸佛子，诸菩萨愿，善决定，无杂不可见，广大如法界。究竟如虚空，尽为来际，遍一切佛刹，救护一切众生，为一切诸佛所护。入过去、未来、现在，诸佛智力。Disciples of the Buddha, what are the stages of wisdom of the Bodhisattvas, Mahasattvas? Disciples of the Buddha, there are ten varieties of Bodhisattvas, Mahasattvas, stages of wisdom, which Buddhas of the past, the future, and the present have taught, will teach, and are currently teaching. I also teach them in the very same way. What are the ten? They are one, the stage of happiness; two, the stage of leaving defilement behind; three. The stage of radiating light, four. The stage of blazing wisdom, five. The stage of invincibility, six. 
the stage of appearances. Seven, the stage of distant travel. Eight, the stage of stability. Nine, the stage of wholesome wisdom. 10, the stage of the Dharma cloud. Hodzi 四者言会地Disciples of the Buddha, these 10 stages have been explained, will be explained, and are being explained by the Buddhas for the three periods of time. Disciples of the Buddha, there are no Tathagatas in any Buddha lands who fail to explain these 10 stages. And why? They are the highest path to Bodhi for Bodhisattvas, Mahasattvas. They are also radiant gateways to the pure Dharma. This is indeed the detailed explanation of bodhisattva stages. Disciples of the Buddha, this place is inconceivable. It is truly the wisdom that bodhisattvas obtain upon realization. For <laughs> 不说此时地者But then, after Bodhisattva Vajra Treasury had finished speaking the names of the 10 stages, he remained silent and did not explain them. Something important has happened. Something unexpected. Maybe unparalleled. When uh, the layman Vimalakirti plays around with other bodhisattvas, something kind of similar happens, but this is a moment that echoes throughout the entirety of the Buddha's teaching of Dharma. What a preparation, what a buildup. The Buddhas rub the crown of the head of Bodhisattva Vajra treasury. He's got everybody aching to hear what he has prepared them to hear. Talks about how inconceivable these practices are. He speaks their names and stops. What a tease. Why do you suppose?
there has never been a bigger buildup. Expectations have never been stoked higher. And to stop? And just let the silence hang there? Is Bajra Treasury Bodhisattva not compassionate? Oh, but he's a compassionate Bodhisattva. Why did he stop? Shake him. <laughs> you can't shake a Bodhisattva. We heard number eight is the Budongdi, the unshakable, the stable, stage of stability. So, what do you suppose happens next? Let's find out. Thereupon, the entire assembly of bodhisattvas, having heard the names of the bodhisattvas' ten stages, but no explanations, looked up with longing and together had this thought. Why did Bodhisattva Vajra Treasury only speak the names of the bodhisattvas' ten stages and then not explain them? Thereupon, Bodhi, Bodhisattva Moon of Liberation, knowing the thoughts of everyone in the assembly, questioned Bodhisattva Vajra Treasury in melodic verse, saying, Chetoye Pusa, Chi Zhu Da Zhong Xin Zhu So Nian, Yi Song Wen, Qin Gang Zang Pusa Yue. O oh, pure and awakened one, you of abundant mindfulness, wisdom, and virtue, why do you merely speak of the superior wondrous stages and do not explain them when you could do so? You are decisive in all things. You are courageous and not timid. Why then do you only name the stages and fail to present them to us? All those assembled wish to learn the wondrous principles of the stages. Their minds show no trace of timidity. They hope you will teach them in detail. The multitudes assembled are all pure, not lax. They are earnest and clear of mind, stable, unshakable. They possess merit, virtue, and wisdom in full. As one, they look to you with reverence, all alike, intent with upward gaze, like bees, Mindful of sweet honey, like thirsty people craving sweet dew. Bogu Ching Chiren Nian Chi Gong De Chi Shuo Zhu Shang Miao Di You Li Bu Jie Shi Yi Che Xian Jie Ding Yong Meng Wu Chie Ruo Wu Gu Shuo Di Ming Ar Bu Wei Kai Yen Zhu Di Miao Yi Chi Si zhong jie yu wen, qi xin 
无缺弱，愿为分别说，终会洗清净。离邪代眼界，能见故不动，具功德智慧，相识现恭敬，一切悉转扬，如风念好密。如可思甘露。At that time, the greatly wise and courageous Bodhisattva Vajra Treasury, having heard this plea and wishing to make the assembled multitudes happy, chanted in melodic verse for all disciples of the Buddha. The acts of bodhisattvas who cultivate on the stages are the supreme source of the Buddhas. Clear discussion of them in detail is foremost, rare and hard to encounter. They are subtle and hard to meet. Beyond thought, they surpass the mind, and they bring forth the states and realms of Buddhas. However, confusion and doubt may arise in those who hear. Only if one maintains a mind firm as Vajra, with deep faith in the Buddha's foremost wisdom, and knows the mind ground is free from a self, can one hear these dharmas supreme, like pictures that are painted in the air, like traces of the wind in empty space. The wisdom of the Muni is that way; its distinctions very hard for one to see. I am mindful that the wisdom of the Buddhas is superior and surpasses thought. No one in the world can accept it. Thus, I remain silent and do not speak. Er shi da zhi wu so wei jin gang zang fu sa wen shuo shi yi yu ling zhong hui xin. 欢喜故，为诸佛子而说颂言。菩萨横地是最上诸佛般现世分别说，第一悉有难，唯悉难可见历年朝心地出生。佛境界，闻者悉弥陀。痴心如金刚，身心佛生之，痴心的无我，能闻此生法。如空中彩花，如空中风香，母尼。知闻入世，分别深难见。我念佛智慧，最胜难思议。世间无能受，莫然而不说。At that time, when Bodhisattva Moon Liberation heard these words, he spoke thus. To Vajra Treasury, disciple of the Buddha, these multitudes have already gathered. They have all skillfully purified the depths of their minds and cleansed their thoughts. They are good at cultivating many practices and accumulating dharmas that assist cultivation of the path. They have been good at meeting hundreds of thousands of millions of Buddhas. They have accomplished limitless, wholesome, virtuous qualities. They have cast off stupidity and delusions and have no further defilements. They they have profound faith and understanding. And they follow no teaching other than the Buddha Dharma. Most excellent indeed, disciple of the Buddha. Now is the time to accept the Buddha's spiritual strength and teach the Dharma. These bodhisattvas can realize and comprehend these most profound teachings. 
，而是解脱月菩萨闻是说语，白金刚藏菩萨言：“佛子，今次众会，皆悉以及善尽身心，善结思念，善修诸行，善集诸道，善能亲近百千亿佛。”成就无量功德善根，舍利吃惑，无有垢结，无有垢染，身心信解，于佛法中不随他教。善哉，佛子，当称佛身力，而未言说，此诸菩萨，亦如是等。深深之处，皆能正知。At that time, Bodhisattva Muni Liberation, wishing to restate his meaning, chanted in verse form: "We wish that you will explain the most tranquil, unsurpassed Bodhisattva's practices." Telling us how, in each and every stage, one can realize pure wisdom and accomplish proper awakening. The members of this assembly are free from all defilements. Their determination and understanding are bright and pure. They have served limitless Buddhas. They can know the meanings of these stages. 而是解脱月菩萨于重选其意而说颂曰：“愿说最安稳菩萨无上行，分别于诸地，至今成正觉。此中无诸垢，直接悉明觉，成是无量佛，能知。” At that time, Bodhisattva Vajra Treasury said, "Disciples of the Buddha, although the assembly gathered here have purified their thoughts, have cast off stupidity and delusion, and believing in the most profound Dharma, they do not follow others' teachings. There are still other living beings whose wisdom is deficient." And who, upon hearing these profound matters that are difficult to conceive of, would experience more doubts? Through the long night, they would suffer much distress. I take pity upon them, and therefore, I remain silent. 而是金刚藏菩萨言：佛子随此众机，善尽思念。舍利于此，即以疑惑，欲生生法，不随他教。然有其余劣解众生，闻此声声，离世意识，多生疑惑，欲长夜中受诸衰恼。我免此等失故，莫然。At that time, Bodhisattva Vajra Treasury, wishing to restate his meaning, chanted a melodic, melodic verse: "Although these multitudes are pure and possess vast wisdom, although their minds are deep and clear, and they can make decisive choices." All there, there, though their minds are stable, like the king of mountains, and like the ocean, cannot be overturned. There are people present who have not practiced long, and those who have not yet understood. They practice with consciousness, and not with wisdom. Hearing the ten stages, they will doubt and fall into miserable rebirths. 
I take pity on them and therefore do not speak. Our Shi Jin Gang San Pusa, Yi Chung Shen Chi Yi Er Shu Song Yue, Sui Tsu Jung Jing Guang Zhi Gui, Shen Shen Ming Li Neng Jue Zi, Qi Xin Wu Dong Ru Shan Wang, Bu Ke Qing Fu Yu Da Hai, Yu Xing Wei Jiu Jie Wei De, 随时而行，不随之。闻此声音，多恶道啊！我命是等，故不说。At that time, Bodhisattva Moon Liberation again addressed Bodhisattva Vajra Treasury, disciple of the Buddha. I hope you will accept the Buddha's spiritual strength. And explain these inconceivable dharmas in detail. The people gathered here will gain the Tathagata's protection and mindfulness. They will grow in faith and acceptance. Why is this so? When one teaches the ten stages, the dharmas of the Bodhisattvas responds in this way. It allows all those who hear it to come under the Buddha's protection and mindfulness. Once these beings get the Buddha's, the Buddha's protection and mindful concern, they will gain courage and vigor with these stages of wisdom. Why is it so? The stages are Bodhisattva's initial practices that lead ultimately to success in cultivation of the Buddha's dharmas. We know that in communication, all written words are based upon an alphabet. Further, we know that the alphabet, ultimately without exception, makes speech possible. Disciples of the Buddha, so too, all Buddha's dharmas are based upon the ten stages, in that the ten stages are fundamental to them. Through successful cultivation of them, one obtains omniscience. Therefore, disciple of the Buddha, we hope that you will explain them. The people here will certainly be protected by the Tathagatas, so they will believe in the dharma that they hear. Shangbai Shangjing. At that time, Bodhisattva Muna Liberation, wishing to restate his meaning, chanted in melodic verse. Good indeed, disciple of the Buddha, we hope that you will proclaim all the practices of the stages so that we may approach Bodhi. None of the sovereign honored ones throughout the ten directions fail to protect and be mindful of these fundamentals of wisdom. Secured in this foundation that wisdom is ultimate as well, all the Buddha's dharmas are produced from them. Just as the alphabet is the source of written words, so too the Buddha's dharmas are based upon these stages. Ar shi jie to yue pu sa yu chung shen qi yi ar shuo song yue. Shan zai fu zi 
Yen Yen Shuo Chiru Puti Chu Di Hang Shi Fang Yi Che Zi Zai Zun Mo Bu Hu Nian Zi Gen Ben Zi An Zhu Zi Yi Jiu Jing Yi Che Fo Fa Cong Zi Shang Pi Ru Shu Shu Zi Mu Shi Ru Shi Fo Fa Yi Yu Di All right, back and forth, drama, dialogue, debate, reasoning, pleading, emotion, feeling, principle, rejection, <laughs> disappointment. Uh, a lot is at stake as two bodhisattvas debate. The value of hearing the Dharma versus the danger of hearing it wrong or mishearing it. What are we hearing? We're hearing the danger of misinformation. We're hearing fake news, danger. And a lot is at stake. I'm going to read just one more passage, uh, one more meaning unit, and we're going to stop before the Buddha has the last word. I'm gonna, this is a clip called a cliffhanger. <laughs> I'm gonna stop before you know what happens, all right? Because why? The Dharma of the first stage is that way, all right? There's a lot at risk here as the two bodhisattvas um, reason and feel their way through this problem. Okay? Okay, last section. At that time, all the assembly of great bodhisattvas in unison chanted these verses to Bodhisattva Vajra Treasury. You whose sublime wondrous wisdom is undefiled, you who possess boundless discriminating eloquence, please speak words both deep and fine and give us teachings that reflect the foremost truth. You who maintain pure practices, you whose practice of the 10 powers amasses virtues, you whose eloquence clarifies the many meanings, please teach us the most excellent stages. With samadhi and precepts that gather right thoughts and free from arrogance, as well as wrong points of view, this assembly has no doubts in their minds. They only want to hear the stages skillfully explained. As one thirsty thinks of cool water, as one hungry imagines fine food, as one sick recalls good medicine, as bees crave good honey, so too do we in just those ways want to hear these dharmas of sweet dew. Good indeed, one with wisdom both vast and great. Please tell us how to enter into the ten stages, how to accomplish the ten powers without obstruction and the well gone one's practices one and all. Pusa 
而说颂言。上妙无垢之无边分别边，宣扬深长神秘言，第一一相应，念持清净恒实力积功德，愿在分别一说此最胜地，定结集正心。离我满邪见，此中无一念，唯愿闻善说。如渴似冷水，如饥念美食，如冰一凉药，如风叹毫米。我等一无事，愿闻甘露法。善哉，广大智，言说如诸地，诚实利无碍，善事一切恒。And there we have it. It took, uh, with all the the preliminaries getting going, it took us um, about fifteen twenty minutes to get underway. But we've been reciting uh, in two languages. I originally thought I was just going to do English, but I realized that all the Chinese listeners、uh, and the Vietnamese translators will be、uh, stuck only hearing. So I thought, let's. Do the Chinese, and I'm glad I did. Actually,、um, the the Chinese original has real power, and、uh, I think you, people who can hear it hear that that the、uh, Venerable Shikshananda, who translated this, or this may well be Venerable Prajna's translation, but the Chinese is just unsurpassed、uh, in the the words seem to come out of. The, the rock, you know, they hit the ear and the heart and the eye just with with thirteen, fourteen hundred years of of resonance. Mind you, they've been sounded for fourteen hundred years since they emerged in the Tang Dynasty. But you can understand why、uh, they say sweet dew rained down when the Avatamsaka was translated, because. After it was done, I'm sure it was read for the empress or the emperor,、uh, in which case, and、uh, they say there were miracles when that those sounds hit the air for the first time.、Uh, heaven and earth said, "Shantai, Shantai, good indeed, we like that," and they responded. That's this is called Shanggongda, sublime merit and virtue. So, okay, well, we only we didn't even get to the first. Teaching, right? This is all preliminary, and we're not done yet. The bodhisattvas have just made their cases,、uh, and no anger. Notice、uh, a lot of you could say tension, because what if he doesn't? What if Vajra Treasury doesn't? They're just going to all hang there, anticipating what they've come to hear and not, not getting to hear it. That would be cruel. That would be hard. To bear, so you all have to come back next week to find out what happens, right? But I will tell you that the Buddha speaks, so I get to、uh, I get to read the Buddha's words, which is very cool to be able to do that. Alrighty,、uh, thank you for listening in. I'm going to ask、uh, Dharma Master. I believe it is Jin Chuan who is going to. Help us find out what's going on、uh, at the Berkeley Buddhist Monastery.、Uh, hello, everyone. Actually, it's Jin Wei. Oh, Jin Wei, sure. Hi. Okay, good. What's here from? Can you hear me well?、Uh, Sounds good. Okay, great. So we are here in the Buddha Hall at Berkeley Buddhist Monastery. All right. We have a few announcements. So tomorrow, 
at 6.30 a.m. We have a monthly dedication of merit from recitation of Great Compassion Mantra. It's uh, more than one year effort of whole group around the world is reciting the Great Compassion Mantra as a support for everyone who is mainly affected by pandemic, but of course, the merit and virtue is transferred to all living beings who face any difficulty. So tomorrow, 6.30 to 7.30, we recite the Great Compassion Mantra and transfer merit from it. And tomorrow also at 8.30 a.m., We'll continue our Amidaba session. Today is the day number two. And we, we will meet uh, three times from 8.30 to 10 a.m., from 12.30 to 1 p.m., and from 2 p.m. to 3.30. If you wish to join, please, you can join by, uh, in YouTube, or you can also uh, click the Zoom link. And we'll continue our session until Friday. So it's the seven days of Amitabha session. And this coming Friday, Professor Marty Verhoeven will start again his class, resume his class, continue lecturing on Avatam Saka Sutra. So seven, probably around 40 p.m. We'll have a meditation around 8.15. It will be a lecture. So. This is it. And of course, we are keep going our old practices start from 4 a.m. for morning ceremony, from meditation, from bowing, and so forth. So please join us, and all information are on the website. Okay. Excellent. Appreciate that. And uh, also want to appreciate all the volunteers who put this lecture online, um, listen to how it goes down. I'm sitting in the Buddha Hall here at Goko Dharma Realm, and my, uh, my voice in English is being translated into Mandarin uh, at another location here in the Gold Coast in Robina. So there's a, a disembodied virtual translation happening for Chinese speakers. And the signal goes out over Zoom uh, and then it goes to a server in Berkeley that is being administered by somebody in Ukiah, California, and put onto Zoom and gone up into the cloud and into YouTube, but up into the cloud. So we are multi-located. That's in the past, uh, that was probably impossible. <laughs> uh, indeed, it was impossible, but unless you were a bodhisattva and could transform your bodies. So there are 130 folks listening on YouTube 85 in Chinese, uh, that's, I'm really glad. Uh, so if, depending on people's feedback and um, on our uh, attempts to improve, we will do the same thing next week that we did this week and do send the feedback. I would like to know how it worked because this is, we're in uncharted territory here. This has never been done before. And if, uh, if people can, can give me uh, suggestions for improvement, I would be most grateful. Um, the, uh, I'm, I'm delighted to hear, to hear Vajra Treasury, the Muna Liberation, and the Buddhas speak. Um, I heard things I never heard before, just by, just by going over it with everyone like this. Here we go. I had never heard um, Vajra, uh, Muna Liberation say uh, the Buddha Dharma is elastic and it protects those who hear, right? That's ultimately the argument that uh, made sense to me was he said, anybody, don't be afraid that people who hear it will go wrong uh, because, because it's the Buddha Dharma, there is protection. The Buddha's uh, nian, hu, hu nian, living being, they protect and, are, and remember, recall, keep in mind beings who hear it so that they don't go wrong. So that was, I'd never heard that before. And also, did you, did you hear the part where he says, uh, one reason that Vajra Treasury is 
is deputized to speak this is because his mantras are never wrong. <laughs> he never makes mistakes in his mantras. I like that part. So, oops, I better pick up my game <laughs> or I'm never going to be in Vajra Treasury's position because I make too many mistakes when I recite. Okay. Let's recite the mantra of Medicine Buddha. We can recite this without error, can't we? And transfer merit to the southeast of the United States where Hurricane Ida is about to make land or is, has done so already uh, with 140 mile an hour winds and uh, the fires in Northern California and the coronavirus, COVID-19 making so many people around the world sick and the manifold multiple sufferings of the good hearted souls in Afghanistan uh, and uh, that used to be a Buddhist country. Remember, Bamiyan Buddhas <laughs> were there until the Taliban took over. So yeah, there's multiple karmic debts being repaid in Afghanistan. So we wanna keep those folks in mind and recite on their behalf. We will use this as our transference. Here's the, uh, Buddhahood at City, the Buddha Hall at City of 10,000 Buddhas, once upon a time. You can make three bows if you care to join me. And here's the Buddha Hall at Buddhist Lecture Hall in Hong Kong and Master Hall. Bow in respect to the Venerable Master. All right, everybody, stay healthy, well, see you next week. Omni Kofo, bye-bye.